Hi there, Guy from Arteria here. In this video we're going to take a quick look at the Mini Filter V, an exciting new plugin from Arturia. Based on the legendary analog filter from Dr. Bob Moog's classic 70s monosynth, Mini Filter V can transform your instruments and add an exciting, dynamic element to your music. Mini Filter V can alter the tone of any instrument in a musical way. Let's take these acoustic guitars for example. By bringing the cutoff frequency down, the high end detail is gradually removed, leaving just the bassy low end. For mix engineers and producers, this is a great way to get creative with your fades, giving you an exciting new way of introducing and ending your parts. You can also use Mini Filter V to transform a part into something totally new. This guitar solo is going through one of the many presets in the plugin. This particular preset uses the step sequencer to rapidly alter the filter parameters, changing the solo into something pulsing and energetic. Any of Mini Filter V's sounds can be blended with the original signal using the dry wet control. If you're feeling adventurous, you could run your whole mix through Mini Filter V to affect everything at once. This dramatically alters the song and can be a fun way of getting some inspiration. By using the dry wet control, you can introduce more subtle and not so subtle filtered and step sequence sounds to any instrument. This is a really useful mixing tool for adding more layers to your sound and reinforcing the harmonic content of your instruments. Mini Filter V is also a great tool for shaping vocals. Cause today was just a day that I'll remember in every week. You can soften up the high end to make it sit nicely in the mix, or pull the cutoff down further to create a unique sound for breaks and midsections. The drive feature adds harmonically rich distortion to the sound, which in turn pushes the filter harder. This is a great way of getting your sound to stand out and cut through a busy mix. Mini Filter V was made using Arturia's exclusive true analog emulation technology, accurately modeling the behavior and response of the original filter's components. In this demo, we've run a drum brute through one of the many presets in Mini Filter V. You can hear that by adjusting the emphasis and cutoff, we can make it self-oscillate, so it whistles and screams just like the classic ladder filter would. Every component of Mini Filter V is fully controllable via MIDI, so you'll be able to access its parameters with a controller or draw in your own automation. For example, the wah effect on this bass guitar is made using the Mini Filter V, with the cutoff frequency being controlled with automation in the DAW. Mini Filter V's LFOs can be set from low, pulsing waves to speed so fast it creates an aggressive, glitchy lo-fi sound. By playing with the cutoff and emphasis controls, you can create some really interesting voice-like effects. This sounds great on drums. So there you have it, a quick overview of the Arturia Mini Filter V. We're very proud of it and we hope you love using it. Use the hashtag MiniFilterV so we can see how you use it. We're excited to see what you create. Bye for now.